Hi, hi guys. Um, very good afternoon uh, to all of you. Uh, do let me know uh, if you can see my screen, hear me properly, and also um, seeing me on video. That would be great. <laughs> Just to do like a check. Okay, hi. JH, thank you for so much for replying. We'll just um take about another five minutes, two to three, five minutes um to wait for everyone to actually enter. All right. Hi, hi. Okay, hold on. Are you guys still able to see the screen? Because I'm having some connections issue on my side. So, okay. So, it, okay, great. That is good. That is good. Okay, let me just take a look at attendees. Okay, I think we are good to start for today. Voice is clear, okay. Hi, good day to you too. Okay, so welcome to Tignos Ultimate Forex Trading Masters class. All right, so today we are actually doing a live trading session. I believe all of you know. Not sure whether anyone has seen me before, but I am actually Kayleen uh, and we are in partnership with the um, Everest Fortune Group. All right, today's content will be live trading session. So um, personally, uh, how I conduct live tra uh, trading sessions or live analysis session, uh, I prefer to actually get, um, sorry, I saw someone raising their hand. Uh, if you have any questions, just type it in the webinar chat. It'll be easier for us to all keep track. And I mean, uh, how we conduct these sessions is the best we can is to make it super interactive. So if you guys are able to uh, want to ask questions or want to request for pairs to be analyzed, I will do so. So normally how I start is that uh, I will much more prefer you guys have um, come up with requests uh, before I go through any of the pairs that or the majors that uh, people want to see. All right. So I realized that Colleen, right? Was it Colleen? That raised hand. What's it, Colleen? Not sure. I don't see her name anymore. Are you able to um? All right. So just um some questions to you guys actually. Sorry, hold on. Just share my screen again. Any pairs that you guys want to actually question, you can type it in the chat. Natural gas. Natural gas is quite a fun pair to actually look at. Uh, hold on. Uh, at any point of time, if you guys cannot see my screen, please let me know. I'm having some issues with Zoom. So, are you guys able to see? My screen. No screen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You should be able to see it now. Natural gas, are you talking about natural gas futures? Now I lost the Zoom chat. <laughs> okay, hold on. Just give me one second. Okay, okay, it's back. You see me in the trading page. Okay, that's great. Okay, before TK reply me, um, we'll go with um, Sumi, is that how I pronounce the name? Let's go with the first pair of Euro dollar. 
clear up all the indicators and for how I do analysis, uh, normally on live training sessions, we will do from weekly, daily to four hourly. All right. So on the Euro USD, we have a very clear shot of a downward trend previously. All right. And seemingly still going through a downward trend. Okay. So we are seeing a downward trend over here. Not sure, not sure whether we will see a channel, but it's more of like a wedge out action. Okay, so we are seeing a downward movement. And let me just scroll back a little bit on the time to see whether uh, are there any key levels. We can see that uh, there's a small support level at price over here, 0 0.96392. Um, if I am speaking unclearly or you guys are unable to um, hear or catch me properly, uh, do let me know. And then we can see the current resistance. I'm looking at a support overlap resistance at 1.03720. So I will go down the list of your requests. Uh, so keep your requests coming. Then we can fill up the whole one hour. All right. Okay, so we are seeing this right now and can see that actually price is reacting pretty nicely to this resistance that we have just drawn at 1.03720. My screen just needs like, hold on. Okay, yeah. All right, let's take a look at daily. So for daily, we can adjust our resistance a little bit more to fit the candles nicely. Okay, on the daily for the short time frame. We can see a upward movement, all right, seemingly uh, to actually trying to fight the downward movement. We can see that previously there was a short upward moving channel and price even exceeded the top part resistance of the channel, of the upward moving channel. So we will see whether price actually bounce off this um, so currently support line over here. If it does not bounce off and it comes back down, then we will be anticipating another downward momentum, which is a continuous uh, downward momentum from the weekly chart. All right, that we can see over here. All right, if you are looking at a closer look, um, certain uh, some of you might uh, take note of this, etc. that actually there is a V shape movement uh, there's a chance that this short burst of um increasing in price and upward movement might have already exhausted all right let's take a look at h4 okay so for those that just came in we are talking about euro dollar let's remove this resistance first and let's take a look Okay, so we are looking at a continuous upward uh, upward channel over here. All right, so for this channel, we can see there's two touch points at the top and three touch points at the bottom. All right, so we are pending to see that where this uh, upcoming candle will be closing at. All right, if it bounces off the daily support of this upward channel and it bounces off this um four hourly upward moving channel then we highly possibly will be seeing a another burst of upward movement however we have to take note of this um price point whether it would actually exceed our channel and we are actually looking at a shorter burst of upward movement if it's an upward, upward movement all right if it's an upward movement so let me just put down. This is too big. Okay, so this is potential, all right? So let's just say that if price actually did 
not um, bounce off the support of this upward moving channel that as we are looking at it. Then there's a possibility of it dropping all the way down to a next support level that we are looking here. All right. However, I'm still waiting for this candle and the next candle to close that week before we can decide on whether uh, which one are we more leaning towards to. So for me, I take um, price movement to be the priority uh, of my analysis. Um, some of you might be different. Some of you uh, might choose to look at indicators, uh, volume. All right. So we can see that right now, let me just remove the ones that we are unwilling to see for now. Okay, so I will just keep the clouds. I can see that actually price is still way up, uh, still at the sorry, prices are still actually above the cloud. We are actually touching the resist uh the resistance or support level right now of the cloud. All right, if price actually eventually uh breaks through our channel, two of our channel, which is the daily and the four hourly upward moving channel and also our Ichimoku cloud indicator that we can more likely be inclined to think that actually our price is going to have a downward movement to um, make support at 0 0.99545. All right. So this is what I am looking at. However, do remember the big, um, big trend we are looking at is still a downward movement. However, there was a very strong bounce at 0 0.96392, which we might be anticipating the overturn of this downward moving trend. All right. Okay, so for summit or summit, Right. Uh, if you are okay with the euro dollar, then we can move on. Or is there anything else that you want me to actually highlight or any price point you're looking at that you want me to talk about? If no answer, then I'll move it to the next point. It's clear. All right. That's great. Okay. Then the next um, top pick will be gold. Okay, very expected for our uh, live trading analysis. Okay, so let's look at gold. Okay, so we can see on the weekly trend prior to this, definitely a downward movement that I'm seeing. All right, then recently price has actually break out of this downward moving trend. And we have a support here. All right, let me just put it here. Okay, we are looking at a weekly support. Let me look at any other levels as of now. No critical levels that I want to highlight on the weekly. Let's go zoom down to the daily. So as for daily, we can see that this is a resistance point. All right. Um, price right now is re uh, recovering from the outward burst for a little bit. Uh, price actually got to 1784.390. Nothing much to highlight over here. Let's look at four hourly. So for four hour, we can see that there is an exhaustion of the upward movement. All right. Uh, I believe that there might still continue be an upward movement. However, I am seeing a pattern over here. All right, it could be a potential head and shoulders that we are looking at right now. If I want to choose, I can choose this one. All right. And then we are looking at a support over here. Let's just say that this head and shoulders it is um as per what we are looking at. then we could anticipate price to actually drop 
further to around 1720, but our next nearest support is 1706, which could highly um, make the price go all the way down. Uh, I'm more inclined of the downward movement. Um, however, I'm still waiting for a bit of a retraction before to analyze at a downward movement. Normally for head and shoulders, after this downward movement, there will be a coming back of the test of the neckline. So this is how I'm going to do the analysis. Um, however, all this analysis today is not trading advice. So take it as a discussion time where you can ask and see how people view um, the charts. It might be the same, it might be different from yours because everyone actually um, sees charts and interpret charts differently, right? This is why we have a market. Okay, so let's take out our Fibonacci retraction. Okay, putting at current amount, I'm looking at it to retract at 38.2 Fibonacci percentage okay. let's take out our Ichimoku now all right so we can see that whoop sorry you can see that actually let me remove the lagging span and leading span and leave the conversion and baseline. So we are looking at baseline in red and conversion in blue. So normally when price point is above the cloud, the first actual um, indicator could, we could use our crossover from our conversion and baseline from the Ichimoku cloud. So in this case, we can see that our baseline actually cross from under to above the conversion. All right, I realize this is very hard to see. Just give me a moment. It should be slightly easier. And let me click on the lines. All right, this should be easier to see. Okay, so you can see a very clear crossover price is actually moving downwards into the body of the Ichimoku cloud, even though it is green and supporting previously. All right, so I'm more inclined to see that um, it could be a very valid uh, head and shoulder movement, all right? However, uh, price is actually already moving. Uh, personally, I will wait for the retraction uh, to come back. So I am looking at this at a entry point. Let's go up for a stop lost. I like to tend to keep my stop loss rather high. So in this case, we are looking at Ichimoku Club going down. We are looking at head and shoulders. So the reason why I put my stop loss at 1768.379 is because if price really retract all the way up to this point, then we are not looking at the head and shoulders movement again anymore. And therefore, we should definitely uh, be re-evaluating our uh, analysis again and to consider whether is it really going down. And for people that think that this take profit is a bit too far for our stop loss, we could do a 50%. So we can have take profit one and we could also have take profit two, but this is up to your personal uh, discretion. So we finally, let me just take out our Fibonacci retraction. All right, so we are looking at a first take profit at in line with our 38.2%. Second take profit beautiful in line, beautifully in line with our 50% over here. Okay, so this is what I oh sorry. This is what I am looking at. So any more questions for gold? I know that gold is a very hot trading topic. Okay, so okay, oh oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm just looking at the comments right now. What are the most tra trending pairs? Uh you can look at the major pairs like your dollar franc, dollar yen, any dollar. 
right? Uh, but more, if you are looking at those pairs that you want to take practice, um, more movement, which is, it could be more dangerous if you are taking practice, all right? Uh, so do try to choose a pair that you can um, practice with. So basically, uh, choose a pair that you can do back history, uh, history, historical practices and see whether what will fit with your way of analyzing. So if you're not a fast trader and you are a string trader, you want to take it easy, there are certain pairs that are better for that. All right. Uh, sorry. Okay, Richard. How do you come up with horizontal supports? Okay, so for horizontal supports, how I do... Oops. Did not know how I do that. Just give me a one second. Okay, we are back. Okay, so for horizontal supports, I look at key bounce off areas. Okay, so for take profit one is not. I just uh, look at a fifty percent entry. All right. So uh, for those that feel that my take profit is way too far from my stop loss, you guys can consider that. But I do not like take profit one because I feel that um, it's a bit more of like a 50-50% ratio. However, I could do a partial take profit. All right, so you can do a partial movement here. Let me just write it down. Okay. Um, so horizontal support levels will look at key bounce off areas in the near term. So you can see that price did not uh, manage to close below this area at 1706.506. Highly likely markets or people in the market, people that are trading, will be looking at this kind of bounce off levels as well. So if you want to put your take profit way beyond that, it is not saying not possible. It is totally possible. It's just that it will be a easier way to identify where you should actually take your profit. All right, so horizontal levels are look at key price bounce off levels. Um, sometimes we do a key bounce off levels. We look at Fibonacci levels, but highly likely I always take the price movement. So I take price bounce off a lot for my horizontal support. Okay, so and ranging ones in case one wants to have a different strategy for trading and ranging pairs. So ranging uh ranging pairs are not my favorite. So even okay, let's just say even if I trade, for example, euro dollar on a daily basis, I if in right now euro dollar is not in trend and it is ranging, it's not my favorite pair to trade unless unless I can identify a very clear v or w shape bounce that i would want to trade in uh, ranging pairs are not my favorite to trade uh if you want to trade ranging pairs the strategy could be a to identify the key resistance and the key support and just trade between those lines if price is already moving halfway through the two important key prices which is the resistance and support um personally i will not take the trade all right okay so all right natural gas um are you talking about the futures for natural gas just now i did ask hi good morning hi good morning oh it's morning on your side okay okay so okay i will get to the futures in a while uh, let me just look at the one last pair that someone actually your frank okay let's look at your frank Okay, you guys can keep the pairs coming and I will. Done. Okay. Euro franc. Let's look at Euro franc first before I get to natural gas. Okay, let's look at the weekly frame. Looking at the weekly frame, we have a general down movement. I mean, that is just how the market is right now. All right. Oops, sorry. I can't really put my line to it, so let's just not force a trend line. 
However, uh, we can take a look at recent, recent resistance levels. Okay, um, not the most beautiful cut through. Uh, if you guys want, we can keep it at here. Uh, the drop off prices at 1.04340. Okay, and we can look at, oh, this is very low. Okay, hold on. Huh? So technically, this is as low as it has ever become. Okay, so this is the lowest since FX for Euro Frank started. All right. Let's look at daily. <clears throat> okay, so for daily, we are zooming in on a scale more. So we can see that the resistance across the line since June of this year, we are not seeing prices to cross 0 0.99432. All right. Um, so on a more decline side of things, let's look at H4. H4, very clear, slight decrease in the degree of the price. Sorry. There we go. So we are looking at a decrease. A bearish channel. Um, we are looking at a even more recent resistance at 0 0.98837. This is a kind of pairs where I don't see a particular trend and I am not a fan of. I will put the support slightly higher over here. So let me just follow the US one. Okay, so we are looking at a support over here, resistance over here. So the price movement for euro frame might not be very huge, 0 0.72 and 0 0.98. All right, depending on the lot size you guys are looking at, these are the ranging kind of pairs that um someone was asking just now. Uh, right now, I see that euro frame is actually in a range, uh, not a very trending um pair at least since 9th november all right um uh, right now this is what i mean price is stuck in the middle of these two key levels i'm looking at not the best kind of pairs to analyze um euro frank Tabang, is it Tabang or Mitke? I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrongly. Do do correct me. All right. Um, do you guys have any views on your Frank? Because um, if not, I will just give you some key levels to take a look at. Um, I don't see a foreseeable or a favorable uh trade on my own, so I would not analyze prop uh as per as per trade to be taken uh, or trade that I will personally take. I will just highlight some key levels for ranging analysis. So the first key level that we highlighted at 0 0.97289. Oh, okay, that's great. So do you have any direction you're looking at for your Frank? Long term, looks like a short now just coming off a retracement. Uh, Richard, I 100% um, agree with you. I think that it's a long term short. However, now it looks like it's going to um, go up again, right? From the short burst of up, now retracing back to about, let me take a look. Huh? Yeah, about 50%. Could bounce up, could go down. 
All right, so we are not sure or hundred percent sure right now because right now price is in a very bad place for um traders. I I personally feel because it's right smack in the middle. All right, it's very hard to identify um what on which direction is going at. So personally, if really really want to look at ranging um please uh personally I will wait until the price to get to the key levels like your resistance and support before acting on it. Personally, I don't have any um views for Eurofrank. You want to sell at the support, is it? You want to sell at the support. Why? You're looking at a very big drop, are you? Are you going to sell to this price level at 0 0.96603? Okay, we will come back to this when Habang re replies. All right. Okay, so natural gas. Okay. Uh, if breakout should short three to five pits below support, about there. Let me take a break. Take a look. Yeah, about there, but um. If it breaks through, yeah, the condition is that it has to break through. Oh, you are thinking to sell to the support. Okay. Well, it's a big risk to take. It feels like it's going to retrace up first. Yeah, it's it's a big risk to take Um, because right now it's right smack in the middle. And one thing I always like to say in my webinars is that please do not chase the trend. Do not chase the trend. If you miss the trend, you miss the trend. Wait for the next entrance. So personally, I would wait for the next entrance if I really want to enter into a sell trade. Um, wait for a better price. Um, looking at the green candle, highly likely it's going to retrace a bit more before it drops again. All right. So let's look at natural gas. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, uh, interesting. I don't think I have anyone that requested natural gas before in webinars. All right, all right. Anyone else have any questions before I move on to natural gas for the Euro Frank? Just want to clear that up first. Good day to you too. So uh, for those that just came in, we actually already went through uh gold was it euro dollar and euro franc all right so no more other questions for euro franc we'll move on to natural gases for tabang is it tabang no tabang was the euro franc one okay so let's take a look at this okay so we're looking at weekly resistance at 9.4 and a nearest support at 5.023. And we have a upward moving trend, very nice trend line on the weekly. Okay, let's change this to green. Let's change daily. Okay, we'll take a look at the oil later. Okay, let me make some adjustments. slightly higher okay so on the daily chart it has been on the downtrend for a while seems like moving into a range 
All right, so that this is what we were seeing. So we're looking at a resistance of 7121, support of 5910. Let's go down to four hour. Not loving this, not loving natural gas for today. Very choppy movements. All right, very choppy movements that I'm seeing. No clear trend uh, ranging. Two value by price point, 5.910. 6.437. At this point of time, I feel like we can read candles. Um, however, I feel like the movement of the candle is too choppy unless we are using candle patterns alone. All right. However, I feel like the market right now is very, very unsure. So even using candle patterns might not guarantee you anything. See, it's not a clear market direction at all. We're not seeing a clear market direction at all that we are looking at right now. I don't see any... At this point, if you are trading this, is really betting on the candles, are you? If we want to do an analysis, I'll do it on the H1. All right, I'm not sure whether you guys are comfortable with this, but for natural gas, we'll just do an exception because I'm looking at this triangle movement over here on H1. All right, so this triangle movement might be very small and very fast to be ineffective afterwards. All right, on H1. So if you really want to take a look of any analysis, take a look at this triangle on H1 and go from there. It looks like a short trend, uh, not wrong, because however, it's hard to tell because we are seeing both bounces to be equally as high on H1, right? It still looks like it's ranging. So if you really guys want to do with natural gases, take a look at this H1 um, graph analysis. However, if you feel that H1 is not something that you are willing to trade in, then I do not suggest to look at it at all because you guys um, might get confused with the bigger trend that we're looking at. However, if you're looking at H4, there's nothing much to be looked at. Yes, uh, I think waiting for a while could be possible because yes, there is a consolidation that we can see. It's very obvious in H1. So we will see where is the direction going. All right. Um, oh, okay. Okay, let's go up to weekly. Hold on. Let's go up to weekly and we'll look at a resistance. So we just marked up first. Near point resistance. Don't see support yet. It's okay, let's look at daily. Very interesting, okay. Hmm. Downward moving channel, all right? So if this is downward moving channel, we can look at H4. Hmm. 
there could be a chance to look at double top, even though, yes, we are at the bottom of the trend. All right. Let's look at H4. So prior within this downward channel, downward moving channel, there was a upward moving movement and then price finally broke out of the support. All right, then we can look at a downward movement coming right up. Uh, right now, price is still moving on a downward movement. I am also more inclined to look at a downward movement for now. Uh, we are waiting for the price to come up. I'm looking at a shorter term of analysis. So it's quite weird. Okay. We're looking for waiting for price to actually retrace back up to 38.2% at about 81.41. All right. And then let's take a look at extension. Give me one second. So we'll set a sub loss here and we'll set an entry here. Yeah, so this is what I am looking at. We can bring in our Ichimoku cloud. Let me just take on these lines. It's impossible to see. All right, so we have a very clear crossover here earlier. Downward movement still following through price below the cloud. We also can look at stochastics. Looking at stochastics of a downward trend. All right. Okay, yeah, so that is US all uh, on my own personal opinion, looking at a short overall downward moving trend, waiting for price to actually recruit up a little bit before going in for the sell. Any other questions for US all? Right, if we don't have uh, I will take one last one. I want to go through some trading VIP room with you guys today as well. Uh sorry, um I'll do dollar yeah maybe in the next session. All right. So today, um, since Leah asked first, we'll do pound dollar. All right, so looking at the weekly chart. We have a downward trend that price just broke up from. Let me look at the support levels. Too far back. Okay. So let's look at daily. Daily bullish channel that we are looking at. Looking at four hourly.
we have a support here. Hmm. hmm. I would say, personally, honestly, I would see a downward trend more than anything else. Hmm. Leah, what's your take on pound dollar? If you have any. Is Leah there? It seems like she's not. <laughs> Anyone else has any take on pound dollar? Do see a long term upward trend for now, a bigger term upward trend. However, for short term, I still anticipate a bit of a drop. <sighs> All right. All right. Okay. So that's all for today's analysis. So before you guys um, move on. Uh, all right. So actually today there is a soft launch um, solely for Tick Mill. It's called the Tick Mills Traders Club. All right. So you guys can actually um, ask questions and post analysis here. And there'll be analysts like uh, me, myself, etc. to actually review the charts or you can you guys can ask questions. We can comment on your charts. You guys can ask uh, comments on our chart, etc. And there will be daily news uh, posted that you guys can actually take a look at. All right, there's indices, futures, majors, your major pairs. So, for example, you can see that uh, uh, our analysts actually post, did post these uh, analysis on a daily basis. They will highlight with certain levels and you guys can actually take a look at it. So, it's very cute that like you have GIFs as well to make it an active discussion room. You guys see and you can see that you can draw as well as comment on people's um analysis so let's just take one for example for example right now i would like to ask um so let's take a look at this possible channel all right uh, so i can ask hi So what you guys can do is that I can highlight the words, click on the link button, oh, sorry, sorry. Click on the link to object button, the first button, click on the object, select the channel, enter, post it as a discussion. See, so you, get, you get to earn a EXP on your account as well for posting messages, posting analysis. So, so you can ask, hi, is this upward moving channel valid? So when I hover over, oops, give me a whole moment. So when I hover over to these highlighted ones, I'll be able to see what are people talking about. So you can see this, right? Fibonacci line, first support, first resistance. All right. So this is what we are looking at for this um very special Tick Mill Traders Club that will be open to uh, Tick Mill customers and Tick Mill traders. All right. Let me go back to the homepage. 
All right, so uh, here are some of the um, ways that we can answer your questions. All right, so how do you unlock access to Tickmail Traders Club? So you just have to be ensured that uh, your once you want to uh, register for this trader club, your address is actually linked with your Tickmail account, which is the same email address. Ensure you have a live and active Tickmail account and we'll wait for Tickmail support to actually check and unlock all your channel. Uh, all your channels once they have verified. Okay, so normally it's in within 24 hours. All right, so we cover Forex futures, commodities, indices, and crypto. So analysts are actually on, you can see all the analyst bios. Pretty cool, very professional traders that actually are um, looking at you guys um, analysis uh, you can uh, so how do you do it it's just to register a new account at tradersclub.tickmail.com at register I will just paste this right now in the chat room all right so All right, so this is how the web page should look like. All right, so for you guys to actually create the account. Okay. So just click on create account. And you so some of the features are latest news, market insights, trading discussions. We have video tutorials for you guys as well. We got a live instant updates. You get to activate notifications so that you can receive instant discussion updates. All right, so um, any last questions for from you guys? Oh, thank you, you two. Uh, before you guys go, uh... Do help me with the poll, All right? So one being a really bad webinar and five being a pretty okay webinar, all right? So I'm just gonna launch the poll now. Please help me with the poll if you guys are able to. All right, so for those that are asking how to uh, get in touch with me, you can stay tuned to the webinars. If you love more help, do sign up for the Take Mail Traders Club that I just said just now. All right. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, thank you guys so much. And just want to check any last minute questions, any last questions. Five is good. Five is good. All right. Okay, let's um that's all for today. So stay tuned to the next webinar. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. No last minute questions. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Hope to see you guys again in the next webinar. Sorry, I have one last q &A. How do you assess recorded session? Uh, do actually email the TickMail support team. All right. If I can, I will try to get a link for you guys next time on the next webinar.
All right. So just one reminder, um, the Think Mail Traders Club is actually a soft launch. All right. So uh, do have a bit more patience if it takes a bit longer for the Think Mail staff to actually verify your access. All right. Okay, uh, next webinar, you can uh, stay tuned for the updates or email in your box. Normally, it should be on the same day. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. Thank you. Uh, so, have Q&As. Let me just take a look at the Q&As. Okay. Okay, we're good. Thank you so much.